Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now, I have been doing a lot of baking since the whole self-quarantine, and a lot of that baking has been not so healthy. I've been making a lot of bread and cookies and that kind of thing for the kids, and we've gotten kind of off track with our Weight Watchers, so we're trying to get back on, and since I want to keep baking, I figured I would bake up some Weight Watcher friendly cookies. So what I'm gonna be making today are fudgy chocolate cookies. They're really easy, they're really tasty, and like I said, they are Weight Watcher friendly. So I will jump in and show you what you're gonna need. So you're gonna need two cups of self-rising flour, and you wanna make sure it's self-rising and not just plain old all-purpose. You're gonna need three quarter cup granulated sugar, a third cup cocoa powder, a quarter cup unsweetened applesauce, four teaspoons of oil, one egg, and then about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. You're also gonna need a little bit of powdered sugar to dust these with, just probably about a tablespoon. And that's all you're gonna need to make these. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your oven preheating to 350. Then you're gonna take your flour here and your cocoa powder and you're gonna just mix these together real well. And then once you get these nice and mixed together, you're gonna just set this aside. And the next step is to take your remaining ingredients, except for the powdered sugar, and you're gonna just put them all in a mixer, or you can do this by hand too in a bowl if you don't have a mixer. So my egg, my applesauce, and if I didn't say before, that is unsweetened. My four teaspoons of oil, three quarter cup sugar, and about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. No more. So now I'm gonna just mix this until it is all incorporated together. I let that mix about a minute or so. And now I'm gonna add in my flour and cocoa. And I'm gonna just mix that up until it forms a dough. And I wanted to just show you that this dough is gonna be kinda of crumbly at first. Um, it takes a little bit of mixing to get it to where you want it, so don't be concerned if it looks really dry at first. Right, I have mixed this for just about a couple minutes, and this is what the dough is looking like now. So it is ready to go. So I've got myself a cookie sheet here, and this is nonstick, and so I'm not gonna use any kind of cooking spray or grease this at all. Um, if you don't have a nonstick cookie sheet, you're gonna wanna put down some parchment paper or grease it so that your cookies don't stick. But I've noticed these cookies don't really stick anyway, so actually it probably would be okay. But this is nonstick, and these pans are, they're Nordic wear, and I got them at Sam's, Sam's Club, and I really, really enjoy these. So if you see these, these are great. They came in a three pack. So I'm gonna take my dough, and I've got this little scoop here that is two tablespoons, and I'm gonna make two tablespoon size balls out of this cookie dough. Now, I got this recipe off of the Weight Watchers website, and they have you making, I think it's a tablespoon size cookies, and they say that you get 40, 48, I believe it is, and I did not, I've never done it that way. I like making my cookies a little bigger, and when I do them in this two tablespoon scoop, I get just about 18. And so I put the information in at 18 cookies instead of 48, and that's how I came up with um, my points for these. If you do them 48, they're only two points a piece, but if you do them this size, they are four points a piece. But I would rather have a bigger cookie for more points than a teeny tiny little cookie, because I don't know what the point of that is. But anyway, so I'm gonna keep rolling these out and then I will be back when I've got them all rolled out. 
Okay, and here I've got them all rolled out and my hands are disgusting. <laughs> um, these are kind of messy. I guess if you refrigerated the dough first, they wouldn't be as messy, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put these in my preheated oven. I'm gonna bake them for around eight to 10 minutes, and then I will be back. Okay, and here they are. I've let them cook about eight minutes, and I'm gonna pull them, let them cool another couple minutes, and then I'm gonna dust them with the powdered sugar. I have let these cool for just a couple minutes and now I've got about a tablespoon of powdered sugar here and I'm gonna just sprinkle this on the cookies. And I'll save the remainder for my remaining cookies I've got in the oven. Like I said, this makes, when you do them this size, it makes almost exactly 18. So I've got a few more going in the oven right now. But that is it. That's all there is to these. They are super, super quick, which is part of the reason why I like making these. They just come together so quickly. I'm gonna have my hubby try one of these. Tell us what he thinks. So it tastes like a brownie in cookie form. Mm -hmm. So it's just nice, um, kind of medium chocolate flavor. And then the powdered sugar adds this nice little bit of sweetness to it. And you can see. You gotta show inside. They fluffed up, but it still has um, chew to it. So it's not like you're biting into air, it's actually got some substance to it. So that's kind of the brownie mm -hmm. S. Ness of them because the brownie's chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Like I say, not super sweet. Definitely not boring or dull. Yeah. So they're four points a piece. Um, I usually will have two, which makes it eight. But I think that makes, and he's having <laughs> way more than two. Um, but two makes for me a nice little snack. Uh, gives you that little sweet chocolatey treat if that's what you're looking for and is definitely very satisfying. So I really enjoy these, like I said, not only what they taste like, but the fact that they are super, super easy to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.